I don't like that. You're on a path in the woods. Yep. You're here to slay her. Okay. She's going to kill me again. Wait, I slew the princess. Sure, she also killed me, but I definitely got her. Why am I here again? That is actually a good question. I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying, and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. No, the, your, that version of your narrator. Might as well just start calling you Simon now. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Okay, who do I have this time? This whole thing's a crock of shit. <laughs> She's just going to pull a knife out of nowhere and stab us again. <laughs> What is in here? <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna get along with this voice just fine. Stabbed to death. You won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. Oh god. Yeah, that's exactly what you told us last time. You said this whole thing would be easy, but after we sank our blade into her heart, she just got up and started stabbing us. <laughs> Calm down, I assure you she has no Oh weapons, god. So there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. You'll do just fine. Oh god. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. No, 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 no. Keep, keep talking, dude. Those are two very different questions. Let's say for a moment you died last time. We mostly listened to you. Yeah. How are we supposed to know she'd spring back to life? If she sprung back to life in this hypothetical scenario, then clearly you didn't slay her. But congratulations, you've been given a chance to actually no, do this. No, we right. did slay her. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, oh, what's the point? Yeah. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We stabbed the princess, the princess stabbed us, and now everyone's right back to where they started. Yeah. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that had you failed I don't know. to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? Screw this. Who cares what <laughs> happened to everyone else? She's not going to play fair, so we should do what we can to save ourselves and just get out of here. I mean, man on a mission, I, I hear you loud and clear, chief. At least you know not to trust her, but you do realize that everything and everyone includes you, right? If you turn around and leave, you're dooming yourself as well as everyone else. We were so close to finishing the job last time. She can't get the jump on us twice. If we're careful, we should be fine. You know, she can get the jump on us. She knows we're going for the heart this time. That's the spirit. Just keep that stiff upper lip. And you'll save the world in no time at all. We're gonna die. Just be quick about it. We killed each other. How can I make sure this doesn't happen again? Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her. Don't trust her. Just go in, do your job, and save the world. Okay. Oh, and don't get stabbed while you're at it. Thank you. Okay. People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. No, I'm being complicated. Okay. She just can, but she's still only a princess. You're fully up to the task you've been given, so long as you remember that. He is literally telling you you're up to the task as long as you remember that. Which is literally saying if you don't remember that or you doubt it, you will not do it. Yeah, what? How about the cheated say something? I'm not supposed. Oh. I'm special. Of course you're special. If anyone's special here, it's her. Last I checked, we can't get up from a knife in the chest. Thank you, voice of the cheated. I'll talk to you soon. You're being, ca you're being cagey? The cheated will get it out of you. I told you everything you need to know. Nope. You didn't tell us about her knife last time, though. All right. That's because she's unarmed. And more than that, it's because there wasn't a last time. No, there was. 
Huzzah. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. This isn't going to work out well. Um, I'm still going to try to turn around and leave like he said. You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. I was thinking that is the long quiet talking to me. I cannot leave because I've already chosen the path to try to leave. I can't choose a path I've already chosen. All right, that the the long quiet oh, will step in before you go any further. That's good to know. She will lie. She Shut up. It couldn't be more on the money. But we're really doing this, aren't we? I say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. Cheated, I hear you. I don't want to go in there because that, that place is a death trap now. She knows we stabbed her. We know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. Mm, yeah, careful enough. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. Okay. All right. The interior of the cabin is a jagged mess of warped wood and broken boards, their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. Okay. Very different. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. Shut up. So focus up. You didn't say anything about the mirror. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. Can you two stop arguing? It's stressful enough in here without all of this extra noise. Thank you. I want to see how handsome I am. I care about whether I'm being lied to. As do I. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. This really isn't funny. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how it was there a second ago. Now it's gone. Yet another thing in here playing tricks on us. I hate this place. You are so much better than the Smitten. We're gonna make a we're gonna make a chart of just a tier list chart of all of the like the cheated the opportunist the paranoid the contrarian just so i can put smitten in f tier whatever is dog shit garbage dumpster fire bullshit tier whatever that is so i can put him in that and everyone else not and cheated in us you take the blade from the table it would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Okay. It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her earth for what she's done to us. Well, I mean, he's spiteful. He's ready to go. Uh-oh. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. That's right, scraping. I told you she has something, I told you. I'm scared to see this version of her. That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. Oh boy. We killed her and she killed us. What possible treats are we in for once we hear her voice right about now? I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. There is something so wrong with that there voice. There is something really wrong with that voice. Yeah. She thinks she's better than us. Like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. I mean, she doesn't. We're, we got a knife. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. I she she's got a power stance going on. This is like a Frankenstein type lighting power stance. I'm not I'm not liking my chances here. 
I wonder if she remembers us. Oh, she does. Finally, somebody. Quick, get me out of these chains. We're not safe here. Oh, shut up. Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. I think we die this time. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. Yep. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? No, I mean, yeah. Um. Uh. Wait. I know you have a knife. I'll let you out of here if you drop it. Look, I know you're mad at me, but I think we both just need to let bygones be bygones. What happened after you died last time? What if we're both honest with each other? I was sent here to stop you from ending the world and you killed me last time. After coming back from being stabbed in the heart. Okay, what if... What are you going to do if I let you out? Okay, I'm fine. I'm coming closer to free you. You better not try anything. Yeah, I'm not trusting this buy. Okay, wh where is the drop the knife? I don't want to let her out of there if she drops it. Last time? If somebody came into my house and stabbed me to death and then I killed him, surely I would remember that. You just spelled out that you remembered that. But I don't remember it, so it must not have happened. I didn't... I didn't proffer any of that information to you. There you go again, talking up delusions about a past life experience that clearly didn't happen. Ugh, it's like the two of you are working together on this. Aren't you listening to her? She's obviously lying through her teeth. I'm terrible at spotting lies, and even I can tell something's up here. We can't be the only ones that looped back to the start. Someone else has to remember, right? Yes, something is obviously up, and we can all tell that she's lying. The thing she's lying about is how dangerous she is, not dimension hopping or time travel or whatever it is you think you're doing. I, I, I don't think you understand, dude. You're the one that has multiple copies. We are just one whole. Make us whole again. What? No, you just got stabbed me. No, I wouldn't stab you. I am just a sweet, innocent princess trapped here for no reason. What was this chapter called again? Was it called Lying Bitch? Can't remember. That's what you're acting like. All right. And you are a brave knight who's supposed to walk up to not stabbing distance to help me. <laughs> I have absolutely zero doubts that she is going to stab us if we get close to her. Yeah, yeah, I don't either. She certainly feels threatening. What do I do? Just because she's acting like she's going to stab you doesn't mean she has the means to actually do it. She does. But you know who is armed? You. So stop second guessing yourself and do your job. But I'm nervous. All the more reason to jump into the deep end and deal with her right now before you waste any more time getting stuck in your head. Dude. Oh. But that's exactly what happened, so you do remember it. Would I just lie? Would I just lie to your face and tell you a thing I remembered happening didn't happen just so I could stab you again? This is what it feels like when... <laughs> when you like, you're like, I want to give that one friend a second shot. And you absolutely try to give them a shot, and then they try to just talk it out with you, and you're just like, this isn't working. This isn't... <laughs> this is... This isn't... We should probably just go our separate... Ow, your friendship hurts. Anyway. I mean, just so I could stab you for the first time. Oh, yeah, you're not lying at all. Aha! She slipped up there. She said again, and her taking it back doesn't count. Thank you, Voice of the Cheated. I appreciate that. Do you hear how deranged you sound right now? 
please stop dawdling, this is only going to end with violence. Postponing the inevitable is only going to make it worse for you when it actually happens. Oh dude, you don't even know. Okay. I don't have the key. We killed each other last time, I'd rather not do that again. But if we killed each other, then why are we here, right now? Both of us normal and unstabbed. I don't like your tone. Uh, she doesn't need a key. Okay. Uh, screw it, slay the princess. All right, you know what? Full send. The princess falls silent, her smile unwavering as you charge across the room. Wow, that those aren't the eyes that just saw it coming immediately with the Naruto like like movement lines. Cool. I'm totally going to Stabby Town and dying. Okay, she hasn't pulled out a knife yet, and her hands are still behind her back. I think we can do this. I think we can win. We just have to strike now. Make sure you keep your eyes on those hands. I don't trust her for a second. I don't either. But your focus is broken by the horrible sound of metal slicing through meat. Well, Whose meat? Not ours, right? Hers, at first. <laughs> then yours. Hehe. <laughs> How? What, what did she even hit us with? You stare down at your chest and at the long, thin blade she impaled you with. And then the red angry slit along the flesh of her thigh, where the blade had been nestled just a moment ago. It's still lodged in her leg, emerging from her knee, hinging up and out of her body like some extra metallic limb. She pulled a gory wolverine on me? Bull shit. <laughs> Absolute bullshit. <laughs> yes! Yeah, someone else called it for me. You're going to die now. <laughs> With a twist of her knee and a painful squelch, she does just that. Everything goes dark, and you die. <laughs> Thank you, cheated. Oh! No! Chapter 3, an arms race! Uh-oh. No. You're on a path in the woods. No, fuck that. <laughs> if we're gonna have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. <laughs> Alright, cheated his best. Cheated absolutely. S plus tier, top tier. Your what? The interior of the cabin is sharp, a constricting mess of curved and battered sheet metal pushing you towards. Wait, excuse me? What just happened? What did you just do? <laughs> I feel dizzy. Oh ho ho ho! I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? Yeah, the further we get in, the less the narrator does. Nobody. Nobody holds the cards. That's how it's always been. That's unfortunately how reality works. The circle's getting smaller and smaller. Running isn't an option anymore. We have to fight. The voice of the hunted? Ooh. Good. It's better that way. What? Without a fight, no one can win. And if no one can win, then nothing has any meaning. What? Uh-oh. Great, so obviously you've already been here. How many times? Uh-oh. This is our third? Last time we got an extra one of the paranoid, it was at the same time that we had the opportunities and then, yeah, extras just showed up. No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is damned to destruction. 
right? See, that's the thing you didn't admit the last times. Uh, an entire world is damned to destruction, but somehow you still exist and you know it's damned to destruction. What world? Because apparently it's not the original one you come from. Otherwise, you'd be super dead. I've let a few of them end over the course of my adventure here. Yeah. All right. That can't be right. That's too much responsibility. Nah, impossibly high stakes make the fight so much better. All right, Stubborn, tone it down a tiny bit, but you're, you're, I, I, I like, I like where you're heading. Let's just stay focused, shall we? We'll, we'll try, but I'm a super dyed a wolverine down there. The only furniture of note is a bent metal table, a pristine blade perched, okay. we take it. <laughs> we take it, cheer, let's go. Okay, sure, you take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Cheetah is not having it this time. This feels right. We just have to keep our senses sharp. Do 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 do. Becoming the hunter. Yeah, God. <laughs> I I have Attack on Titan vibes of like a theme song going through my head. Hunters becoming the hunt hunted becoming the hunters. Whatever. That's right, we've got to be able to win eventually. Uh, but, I mean, not against Wolverine, but, you know, good try, you know, against that cheated. We will win eventually. Hell, we might even win now. All right, Stubborn. Still, just one click down, please. That's a fighting spirit I like to see. You could all learn a thing or two from this one. Shut up, narrator. I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are. Right? It's the mirror. But there isn't a door. It's just that mirror again. There isn't a mirror. You really messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality anymore. Um, I don't know who's seeing reality this time. I think you're not seeing it. I can feel the air coming up from behind it, stinking of iron and steel. You might be right. Could be a trick. If our other senses can't feel it, then we can't trust it. If it's in our way, let's just break it and move on. Some of these feel like proper... You know what? I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to be like... So, mm, you know what? I'm going to keep those opinions to myself. Hold on. I was about to stereotype a whole broad swath of people. I'm not going to do that. But he's got a piratey sense to him. Approach the mirror. Make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror, and it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. The mirror lets me into the the, to the, the, the long quiet, it's my portal. Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. Jesus. Wipe the mirror. You reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. And the mirror's gone. Eh, surprising. Thank you, cheated. It was never there. Just an illusion. Hunted, you're paranoid. No, paranoid is not the same as you. You're... You're... You came out of the idea of... Uh, okay, Wolverine's Let's down there. Let's just get to the princess already. I didn't care about the mirror before, and I care about it even less now. All right. Guess it's time for us to see her again. I don't want to. Just stay focused, and you'll be fine. No, we won't. She's not going to even let us get down the stairs. You step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. They are smooth and flat and metallic, an unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. <laughs> Your body tumbles onto the basement floor and the form of the princess comes into view, standing at a distance. She gives you a wry smile. I don't like this music. Hi, it looks like you don't have a way out. So I'm not going to play dumb anymore. But don't worry about how bad you did last time. That's part of the fun. She's got another thing coming if she thinks we're going down easy again. Oh, God, no. Pride makes us dead. The only thing that matters is survival. Actually, does survival matter? We've died twice and nothing bad has come of it. We just need to find a way to win once. Cheated, I think you forgot about the idea that if you break a cycle, you might stay dead even if you win. 
Nothing bad has come of it yet. Thank you, hero. Plenty bad has come of it. You've left at least one entire world to ruin. The people there matter. You have not shown me another single human being. Shut up. The past isn't real. There's only here and now. Hunted is... okay. Your internal bickering is cut short by the wet sound of slicing meat. From the princess's arms erupt twin blades glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. The chain clatters to the floor. So... If Wolverine and Lady Deathstrike had a baby, um, you get the princess. Cool. Cool beans. We've got a dagger. Let's see how this goes. And I bet she has more blades in her legs. She had one in her thigh last time. She's loose, and she is coming for you. Oh, don't. Please, this is the one time I'm going to ask. Don't come for me. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? Oh, my God. Shit. She's coming for us and I'm out of ideas. Eh. She can't hurt us if we don't let ourselves feel it. We're going to appeal to our authority. Puff her up a bit. There's no reason we can't talk out of this. We're going to unconditionally surrender. Oh, that's easy. I'm going to try flirting with her. She has swords for arms and we don't. We're panicking. We're not panicking! She wins by killing us, right? So let's beat her to it. All of these ideas suck. Think up something better. Actually... That one actually... Might work. I don't know what to make of this, but technically in this world's rules... She can't hurt us if we don't let ourselves feel it and if we think for too long she's gonna do something let's try this one <laughs> yes yes this is the best idea anyone has ever had full send yeah sure why the hell not let's see if we can turn off the part of us that feels things all right pain is good it's how we stay alive hunted shut up nah i'm sick of pain <laughs> Yeah, this whole thing will be a lot more tolerable if it didn't hurt so much. <laughs> oh God! Do your do your worst. I bet you can't even hurt me. Okay. This feels like I'm asking for her to decapitate me, as in like it never hurt. You know, you didn't feel a thing. It was a clean cut. Sure thing. I love a challenge. I bet I can hurt you so much. Okay, I might have chosen the wrong thing. The princess closes the distance and we dodge. And you dodge. Yeah! And we fight back. Yeah! And you fight back. Oh, you're fast. But let's see how fast you really are. Please don't have another blade in your leg. You and the princess enter a quick and vicious exchange, each of you wounding the other, but neither landing a fatal blow. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, yes, this is exactly it. But the dance couldn't last forever. All it takes is a single clumsy moment. She skewers you. Gotcha. Uh-oh. And? Does it hurt? No. Wow. <laughs> Voice of the cold? No, it doesn't. Oh, a new one of us. <laughs> I thought that only happens when we die. Did we die? You're on a... No, you're in a... Where the hell are you? Wait, what? I think we're dead. And that's all we'll ever be. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. Oh, dead. God. If we didn't realize we were dead, then we made progress. Good job. <laughs> Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. 
Ooh, yeah. Like our reality is shaped by what we be truly believe is happening. Okay. This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? This is four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. Exactly. Can I make it not go past one? I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas and I love that. You're so encouraging when you try it and you successfully kill me. But I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay, whatever we do gets us another us. Let's see how many we can stack. There's got to be a point where it makes us better than her. Yeah, or it makes us a clusterfuck. We don't need any other voices chattering about in here. It'll just confuse us. All we need is to keep fighting. Yeah, I'll pass on that. As long as we keep moving, why not? It's not like dying again and again is doing us any harm. Let's see how far this little mind hole goes, shall we? <laughs> Show me something new. Ooh. Oh. Ah. Uh. So let's beat her to it. I, full tilt, full send still. Whoa! It doesn't work, and she kills you again. And again, and again, and again. Your memory blurs as your consciousness leaps from life to life to life, holding only snippets of the conflict that transpires. Then you skewer yourself. Wait, what? I thought we both understood that dying doesn't get you anywhere. Huh. That didn't do much of anything. We're tougher than I thought. Hey, Contrarian, welcome back. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. What's the point? It's all <laughs> the same. <laughs> Holy crap. She skewers you. Oh, don't give up on me just yet. You gotta keep going. Do you see that? We almost had her. That was luck. We only have to get lucky once. Oh. Compliment her on those gleaming blades. There's nothing better than a capable woman. Oh my god, just kill me now. Hey, Smitten, what's going on? She skews you. P please cut out the part that's Smitten. Oh my god. You're cute. No! You're gonna get Smitten out! It doesn't matter how many times this takes, we can't give up. Okay, let's go again. Just panic. Flee. <laughs> hey, paranoid, what's going on? She skewers you. No, you don't get to escape. That's not how this works. Oh, this is a bit crazy balls, though. See? We're getting better. Okay, okay, yeah. That was a good one. Let's appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. Oh, God. She skewers you. Oh. We're getting close to something. Can't you feel it? One last time. You're right. One last time. That's all we need. No, don't think that. Because if she kills you in that one last time, then it's over. None of this is working. Think. Think. Skeptic? We got a lot. I'm assuming I can run into all these people in the different paths, but that's a lot of people. How long is this game? It's it's using all 10 gigabytes of the download for a visual novel, but it's fully voice acted. She skewers you. And then everything goes dark and you die. Yeah, because you thought you needed only one last time. Mad? This is... Oh, we got to a chapter four. You're on a, don't lose your head. We're in a cabin and we'll take it from here. <laughs> oh, mutually assured destruction. Mad. Okay. Did we bring better weapons? 
She's from the Weapon X project. Everything feels like it finally fits, doesn't it? We're up here, which is different, and different is good. And our steel claw is already in our hand. Wait, our steel claw? Our dagger? Oh, what if? Throw it out the window. Shut up, contrarian. Over my dead body. Well, your dead body's been dead a few times. That won't be very hard. I <laughs> died a lot. But I can't say I mind anymore. <laughs> Besides, what better way to die so very many times than at the sharp hands of a beautiful woman? Her hands are spaghetti noodling under her big blades. Shut up, smitten. Anytime someone gets on my nerves, I'm calling them smitten from here on out. Sure, I can think of a better way to die. Yeah, they're all the same, really. Oh, the nihilistic one. Cool, let's do it. How about we stop thinking about horrible ways to die? I don't want us to accidentally manifest anything. The paranoid is on to something. The only thing we're going to manifest is finally ending up on top. We could be a power bottom. That is a power move in and of itself. There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is... Yeah, leave it to the pros. We'll notch up that win in no time. Wait, what? The voice of the... How about you stick to describing things and we stick to doing them? Okay, I accidentally hit the button twice. Narrator, we heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter with our star-crossed lover. Smitten, please jump out the window. Fine by me. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only There's it's no more of a slide. We know. Fine, I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room, or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Yeah, that's kind of the point, narrator. I'm starting to figure out that the more cycles we're in, the, the less you're a part of the world that you created to escape something on your side. Spill the beans. Don't care. Just want to walk. Thank you, cheated. Fine. You make your way to the basement, where the princess awaits you. Wow, her dress is hanging lower. Um... Her... Her... her the way her... I don't know where the daggers are going to come from. I was about to say a few inappropriate things, but they look like it could come from a few places. You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces, you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. Oh, God. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good, even. I like that. Smitten, if you have anything to say, swallow it. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? Just show me the bazooka. Not your top of your dress, the bazooka. I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it, though. Just you wait, and not for very long, because I'm going to do it right now. I'm scared. <laughs> Are you going to say what she does? Uh, oh, do, do you want me to talk now? Oh, God, narrator, you're insufferable. Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Really? Okay then. Here we go, now. I think it might be too late for the new thing. The princess's skin twists, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. Then it erupts. Comes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against the walls. All that remains in the center of the room is a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. I think I fought you in Dark Souls 3 in the painted world. Um, somewhere around there. I'm just gonna. Just gonna put that out there for you. Are you ready for what comes next? No. No. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. 
This was all worth it to hear the hero say, holy shit, okay. She's gorgeous. Absolutely divine. I hate you, Smitten, so much. Yes, behold the perfect woman. All right, Stubborn's saying it for a different reason. Stubborn gets a pass. Do you think we can throw her out the window? <laughs> Thank you, Contrarian. That would work, too. That looked painful. Oh, God. How is she still alive? Go for the heart. Heart's still beating. That's all she needs. This is fake. This is all fake. That's all just made up. Well, I mean, kind of. Every cycle is made up. She doesn't even have a back anymore. How are we supposed to stab her in it? <laughs> <laughs> this is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. Wow. You just spoke to, like, the soul of at least 50% of my audience. D d shut up, Broken. I'm trying to ch make them happier. Oh. We screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. Shut up. What just happened? It's so quiet. I emptied my mind. Smooth brain energy for the win. Him too. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. Uh oh. You do not act, and yet, through that inaction, your body moves on its own. The princess strikes at you as you approach, but as her blow finishes its arc, you're already somewhere else. You're incredible. She said, post-coital. Oh. <laughs> Your weapons clash again and again. You and her entering a rhythm free of thought and free of self. There is only the dance. The ebb and flow, the shifting of the tides back and forth between you. The deeper you fall into your play, the faster your hearts pound, and the faster the momentum volleys between you. An endless building crescendo and then an opening. Your blade strikes free of violation, vo free of volition, and hers strikes too. Both strikes are lethal. Neither of you will survive, but neither of you fear what's to come. This is a good ending. I just gave her a lot with that. You do not get to see each other die, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. Approach the mirror. You do so. Silence as you reach towards the glass. It's time for you to see what's in it. Silence as you reach forward. They're once they're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. Oh, I'm dripping. You've withered. Um, uh, did I do something wrong? Is this bad? Is this wrong? My reflection is getting worse. I didn't grow. I, I, I got goopy. I got goopy hands. I don't want goopy hands. I, I want to grow. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. You are at the cabin. Uh oh.
Oh, shit. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. If all is changing, what's the rest? You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. Yeah, they do. How can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. You scare me. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitude. I made her to the, into, into the bladed weapon from SAO Alicization. That can't be the best. I am everything that you have known me to be, but I am also none of it. What am I? It doesn't matter how many times I go back. At least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? No. I haven't really thought about it. Oh. Uh, I have no opinion. I have no opinion one way or the other on the matter. Wow, that's more of an answer I would give if I felt backed in a quarter. I just want it all to stop. Hmm. You all seem so distant as soon as I'm near you. It does seem small from here. And the more we journey, the smaller each of those steps will be. But that doesn't make any of them less special. Wh I... What do you think of this vessel? This one is sharp and single-minded. She is cruelty. But she is also joy. She will make for an indomitable heart. Do not mourn her. She is exactly where she needs to be. Okay. Okay. If that remains your choice when all is said and done, then you may try. But know that I do not wish you harm, even if you attempt to destroy me. Okay. Do you know what happens when we leave worlds behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. You're losing me in riddles. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. I am looking for Worthy and Dvorkas. Have you figured out what you want when we're finished? The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves. But none of them rise above their dance to influence me. Okay. I yearn for what I have always yearned for, our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. You are just... Ooh. Do you still not care what I bring you next? I care about your gifts, but I have no preferences to burden you with. Even if I did, I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself above you. That actually makes me sad. The way that she put that. So you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? The tides do not dictate where they are pulled. A river does not dictate its outlets. Oof. 
My gift to you is to let you choose your path, and my task is to treasure the gifts you bring me. Why? I still don't understand the world that we're in yet, though. I'm trying to piece that together. It feels like we're in a world that's constructed to literally let imagination dictate and where death can't exist if you will it for that. Yet death somehow does exist because the whole premise is to avoid it by killing, which is a contradiction. Oh, she just talked about contradiction. I'm just saying this isn't the real world. We're, we're getting around the real world. Oh, uh, how many more vessels do I need to bring you? We will know when we near our destination. Oh my god, woman. Like, the, giving me the like the, the instructions of how like oh yeah 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 you're gonna want to take a right hand turn. Where um it's it's this place on the I'll just tell you when to turn, it's fine, it's fine. Uh turn um uh uh turn uh turn turn um turn 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 uh um you're gonna wanna uh, t t now <laughs> like that's what it feels like. You'll know when we reach our destination. Thanks. Slam into the brick wall of reality. All right, I'm ready to go back, I guess. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. God. Please stop this ending reality with the glass shatter. Everything goes dark and you die. So I'm still very much mortal, but I am undone. I am not the long quiet. I am something that exists as part of Tandem 2 or is a contract with it. The princess seems to be one in the same with the long quiet or whatever is there. What am I then? I haven't been given a title or a name in my immortal state that it goes tandem with hers. Did I mess up finding that out when I uh, like, rip my part self apart from her? Did I have a name if I had just stayed with her? Okay. Oh my god! Uh, what way have I not chosen this? You're on a path. Shut up. You're here to slay her. Self-voicing enabled. It will be the, the end narrator, of the world. The narrator, you're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I'm sorry? Press L2 to disa- Save. Self-voicing enabled. Hold on. Self-voicing? What is this? What just happened? Self-voicing? Off. Get that off. Alright. Self-voicing disabled. I have no idea what I did. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Not Viva la Re Re Revolution. Not that. Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. Okay, what haven't I done? You make your way up the short path to the... Alright. I can't turn around anymore. I have to go inside. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale okay. and the blade is your implement. Okay. You take the blade from the table. Yep. You, we're, we're going blade ready, but we're gonna flip Door it. Door to the basement creaks over her voice. Yep. Harry. Who's there? Yeah. She sounds... Don't let She's in charge. All right. Uh, continue down the stairs. No. Hi! I haven't done that. Don't be a stranger. And it's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. I don't know what that'll do, but... You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. She's so coldly beautiful. Focus on the task at hand. Okay. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? I'm trying to figure that out. Oh, yeah. All right, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. That isn't a good idea. Just drop the knife, and maybe the two of us can talk things out. I have not dropped the knife and talked. I have not done that. She's right. We shouldn't. 
we should just drop the blade. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do. Yeah, we haven't we haven't dropped it. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clap. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. Okay, but we can do this different. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. You sound like Ruki Akuchki. Anyway. Um... A relationship? Are you coming on to me? Please, I don't want the smitten to come back. There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? Okay. Don't just tell her that. <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. Okay. Just how long has she been down? She said all that if before. If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so? We've done this. Dangerous. Deflect. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? Princess hesitates before responding. She doesn't know. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. She knows what she'd do. She's just searching for whatever answer Wait. she thinks you want to hear. Did I do this? I haven't dropped the knife before. I don't think I can answer that question in a way you'd find meaningful. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about- Yeah, she trust. dropped the trust line on me again. She, tr she dropped the trust line on me. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. Stop looking at your nails. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? I... I... She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Okay, narrator, shut up. You're making it worse. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. I don't know about the blind trust, though. I'm not Stevie Wonder. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? I do not trust who put you there. She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about... Risk. Oh, and she, she said we that before. Here. Okay. Are you coming on to me? Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. That is true. Semantics matter in this case. How would I get you out of here? You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Wait, she's never offered to put the knife to good use. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting. Right? I think she's suggesting exactly that. She is. I'm sure of it. Okay. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? I don't know. You know why you're here. Shut up. I'm getting you out of here. Wait, I haven't kept her locked away. That seems like a pretty good compromise. 
Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. Hold on. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. Um... I haven't gotten out of the basement before. And if you don't... I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. Okay, but I do want to leave. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Um, I'm a... Save? Oh, we're on page like three of the saves. All right. Locking her in the basement. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. Uh-oh. You're making a mistake. No, I'm not making... You turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. Do you close it on me again? It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Okay. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. Do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. No. Uh, we're sticking to the plan of locking her down here. The death of all of us, but fine. Have it your way. Okay, so we're going to lock her down here. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Oh, boy. I don't like where this is going immediately. Okay. We can make this work. I don't know if we can. I regret this. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. Okay. Okay. It isn't long before you start to drift off. Your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. Uh-oh. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Huh? It's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. Ah. Uh. She sounds terrified. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. It was like a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. Jesus H. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did. And I'll never forget it. We done goof, boys. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. No, I'm starting to get the picture. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. Okay. Okay. It was all an act? I could be innocent and harmless, if I want to be. Teasing me with fresh air and the chance to finally live freely doesn't inspire me to play nice. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped. And the door to the basement is ajar. Its lock broken and the table shoved out of the way. Well, see, there's a problem. You had the table shoved up against the door, but the door actually opens going going inside of the stairwell, not outside. So the, the, the table was never going to actually block the door from being open. And see, there's you have a real discrepancy in what's going on with how the things work here. 
I you really can't be blaming me for that kind of thing. I was just uh, holding all the. You're the narrator that needed to tell me that. You could have changed my whole course of everything, but no. Where is she? I don't know where she is, but I know that I'm probably dead. Oh. Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. I'm screwed. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. Yes, it does in not the first iteration of any world. It certainly as hell does. I said I didn't want to feel pain. I felt no pain. I said one last chance, and when she killed me the last time, I died. M my truth does matter. Let me have this. Oh, God, she looks awful. So helpless. I can take my time with you. Oh no, this is not the foreplay that you want. She steps closer, one silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. She's staring at me and making my organs shut down? Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Listen, California just had to reenact mask mandates. I'm going to have to ask you to please social distance. Um, you look like you have probably the big C. Uh... By that, I mean uh, cooties with the dash of her herpesyphilitis. Uh, so. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. Oh, I'm going to die like this. I'd say better luck next time, but we both know this is the end. Don't we? It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. Shut up, hero. You're dead. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Bye. Bye, hero. Chapter 2, the no. <laughs> you're on a path in the woods. Nope. And you're here to slay her. No. Oh, she's gonna kill me again. Okay, who am I stuck with? We got, we got the cold, the broken, the skeptic, the stubborn, the hunted. She hunted us down. Maybe we get the hunted here. Hunted, you got something to say? Again, people don't die twice. Hunted? I haven't even met the princess, and I hardly think she'd be capable of killing someone as skilled and courageous as yourself. Alright, I'm gonna bet hunted number one, after that of shutting my body down, I'm gonna bet cold as number two, and I'm gonna bet as a, a, a bronze medal for who's gonna be my voice in my head as uh, the cold. But I'm gonna go with hunted. I, I feel very hunted. Let's, uh, let's go. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Shh. What if he hears us? Shit. Forgot that you weren't actually in your own story yet, paranoid. Damn it. That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? Shit. <laughs> I think you'll find yourselves very hard-pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it matters right now, because like I said, this is the first time we've met. Still, I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We've a world to save, after all. Okay. 
Okay. What do you have to say, Paranoid? Those are two very different questions. Let's say for a moment yep. you died last time, we couldn't trust either of you. And as far as I'm concerned, we still can't. You right on the money, Paranoid. You're my man. All we did was lock her away. And how'd that work out for you? No comment. Yeah. <laughs> well then, congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. And your solution is to send us back in there. Do you want us to slay the princess? Or do you want the princess to slay us? You're asking the questions that get people promotions if we were living 50 years ago and if um, they were male and white. Um, so, you know, keep up the good work uh, in the 1980s. Obviously, I want you to slay her. One of you poses a threat to the world and the other doesn't. 1970s? Maybe that? Anyways, I believe your other question was something along the lines of what's the point of doing yeah. anything? Well, what do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We were killed by the princess and now everyone's right back where they started. Speak for yourself. <laughs> From my perspective, there were plenty of consequences. I'm never going to forget the way she just made us stop working. Oh yeah, that is true. She just made us stop working. We just stopped. That's only scratching the surface. If what you said is true, it begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or have you found yourself in another world altogether? If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? I'm still confused on what I am and what you are actually, narrator, so Shut it. If she brought an end to everything and everyone, how are we supposed to stop her? What do you want from us? I want you to succeed. Yeah, you know what? Proceed to the cabin. I, if I try to look, oh, walk well, away, before you go, uh, it's uh, the long quiet stops me. She will lie. She will cheat. Yep. I don't think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us last time. Or at least she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. You're my man. I'm... The interior of the cabin is plain. The smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement door. The blade is your implement. Hold on. What happened to the door? There was a door here last time. Way to get to the good detail. Oh! No! 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 Those are eyeballs. I am being watched from both of those windows. My face's cam is covering up one in the live stream I'm doing. That's two heads right there. There's one, two, and look at that other freaking window. I am being watched. No. It's just an empty frame. She's already gotten out, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? I feel some eyes, yeah. I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. I'm not stuck in my head. I'm stuck with those eyes looking everywhere. There's, there's, there's some eyes. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. All right, I did not expect this game to be go this way. I was not... I would have put everything else shelf for today and just done this game if I had known. All right, approach the mirror, just... You walk up to the wall next to the empty basement door frame. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. All right. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Did he make it go away? Clearly, there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. Paranoid, you're actually bringing up a good point. Did he make it go away? That's the truth. 
when his voice goes away, the mirror goes away. So he doesn't want me knowing about the long quiet. He knows about it. He did create it. All right, paranoid. We're going to have to make that conspiracy chart together. I need you around. How many rounds do you get? Take the blade. We, we are going down there without this. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. Good. Steel can't lie to us. Speaking the truth there. You're sounding a little... Yeah, eh. Gotta need you to trust me a little bit more on this. I, I've been around this merry-go-round. I've, I've fought her. She's been full of steel. And she totally still lied to us. Is it going to be enough, though? Couldn't you have given us something else? Something... I don't know. Better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? I was thinking why their imagination always has to come back to a knife when it seems like the one without the voices fought her tooth and nail with something that seemed a little longer than a knife. The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. Says the guy that doesn't have to go down the stairs and face her. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us <laughs> to our death. <laughs> <laughs> Fist bump. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. All right. Ooh. You cross over the threshold and onto a series of isolated steps suspended in darkness. There are eyeballs. I don't like you. More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. Yeah, you don't mention the eyes. I noticed that, too, Paranoid. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. Let me guess. Her text will be in blood red, waiting for me to come, because she's the nightmare in this one. I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Put down the Go XLR and walk away from this fight, please. Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. How hard is it to throw a knife? It can't be that hard. But then we'd lose our weapon. We'd have to make it count. Otherwise she'd be furious and we'd be defenseless. If a knife is even enough to do anything against something like her in the first place. I'm wondering that too. It'll be enough. Ah. Uh. Step off into the void between the stairs. Part of me wants to do it. I mean, I'm going to reload the game, but it I gotta try it. You attempt to step off the stairs and into the pitch black surrounding them, but you're stopped by an invisible force. Why did you do that? What did you think would happen? You hacks! Hacks, I call hacks! I don't know, falling into an infinite void seemed better than going down the stairs and dying. I'm just scared. How would falling into an infinite void be better than anything? Why are you scared of something like an infinite void all of a sudden? You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. You made me go to the bottom of the stairs. I didn't choose this. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. Two roads diverge between gray wood. Oh boy. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. And I haven't had my pants on this whole stream. I'm really exposed. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? Oh, this place, not my penis. I read that as a penis. Th that's an honest statement. As soon as I said no pants. I don't know. I just I'm, I got penis on the brain. Excuse me. Sorry. No, I'm not. 
Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Well, I'm no, I'm being reasonable. I just thought Johnson and kind of read a word that starts with a P and okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll just move past that. Don't have to worry about that. Excuse me. I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. Yeah, hero, saying some good things. I keep saying hero and I keep thinking darling in the Franks, but it's fine. Hero, that's H-I-R-O. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. All right, paranoid, calm down. We're probably going to die again, but don't worry about it. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. I don't want to pick a direction and start moving. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. Let's get a point. Let's go, uh, let's go right where the eyeballs are. I see eyeballs at the end. Let's go to the eyeballs. You turn to the right. And she's there. A faintly outlined path lies before you. Where is she? There you are. Ooh. I told you I was going to find you. Oh, God. That was a fear burp for a sec. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. Okay. As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. Oh, please no with not the doll mask and such, and please not. Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. She shut your body down, dude. How are you going to think your way out of it? What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. We died to her. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. And I'm about to break. Everything you say to me. <laughs> as your blood begins to coagulate, it's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Okay. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart. Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. Lungs, liver. Are you telling me the paranoid one is actually going through my, like, Autonomic systems and forcing them to keep working? What? What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function or do you want... To... Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing that again. I skipped past something on accident. And then the experience stops so far as your body uh, reapproaches death. Okay. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want? Or do you want to interrupt me some more? No, please keep doing it. You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. I feel like there's more to a body than that. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. I like her design, though. I'm going to have nightmares over it, but I like it. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Heart. Oh, well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. She isn't attacking us. Why? I don't know. The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. Okay. What, what, why won't you finish me off? What good am I to you? Uh alive what do you want from me what happened after you killed me last time you're a lunatic um 
<laughs> what? Okay. What happened after last time? I tried to leave while you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let me. So I started to drag your body out with me, and then... Well, you died before I could get to the door. And then I was here, and now you're here too. She literally can't leave without me. I don't think I can leave without you. And death doesn't count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. I, I think this one actually does want to kill everyone. This one's legit. This one could even be described as too legit to quit. Hey, hey, hey. Too legit. Too legit to quit. Eh. All right. Whatever. Okay. I am being nice. You're alive, aren't you? Yeah, why'd you throw me on the stairs? This is not nice. I, I gotta read out the selections I make on the right more. Yeah, I, why'd you threaten me on the stairs? And this is her being nice? All right. Paranoid side of me is keeping my body alive. And you died of fright as soon as you saw me last time. I didn't think keeping you alive was an option. But it looks like that's not a problem anymore. At least not for me. You seem miserable. I mean... You did describe what we had as a relationship in this... It's a feeling that could come off of that. Miserable is the word for it, I guess, if you're going to wear that face and be a bitch. All right. Um, you know, you're a lunatic. You're a lunatic. You know that, right? I am what I am. And right now, I'm in control. Wow, power tripping. All right. So, you might want to be a little nicer than me. She raises one left finger, its tip hovering just over your skin, seeming to enjoy the lingering threat. But she withdraws, sparing you another momentary glimpse of death. Because I don't want to, and even if I did, oh, I don't have to. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. You're sadistic. The princess leans forward, bringing her mask lips close to your ear. If I want to see you gone, all I need to do is break your concentration. Uh-oh. No, please don't. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. Then, shit, shit, make her stop. Hey, snap out of it. Okay, deep breath, deep breath, we're fine. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. You're back. Lungs, liver, nerves, Jesus heart, Christ. Liver, nerves, One moment, lungs, and then liver, you're gone. Nerves, heart, Just lungs, like liver, that. Nerves, heart, lungs, liver, ah, nerves, heart, and there's the fear. Liver, nerves, she pulls away. Heart, lungs, liver, but that wouldn't be nerves, very fun, heart, now would it? Lungs, liver, I've already done nerves, that. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, oh God. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, I'm not helping you leave. I'm not going to try to kill you, so do your worst. Lungs, liver, Toss the blade and remain with your nightmare. Heart, I actually think that's the way to do it. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave. I'm not going to try and kill you, so do your worst. Toss the blade and remain with your nightmare. I'm going to do that. Are you serious? You fling the blade into the void, denying yourself the opportunity to ever slay her and finish your mission. But you can't leave. Nobody's happy, but... Maybe it's for the best. You poor deluded thing. Do you think a single moment of bravery changes you into something you're not? I am what I am. And you're always going to be a coward. Liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She raises a hand to her mask and pulls it down. You don't get the chance to see what lies beneath before it envelops you. 
Everyone good with that nightmare fuel? That's great. Like a creeping mold, the complete reality of your existence threads its way through your mind. Birth, death, birth again, decay and bloom, a million stitches from a million microscopic wounds you've inflicted on everyone you've ever met, with every muscle you've moved and every word you've ever spoken. Jesus. No, oh, no, 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 no. Let me out. I, I don't want to. Your existence hurts them. Her too. Let me out. A lonely soul in a room by itself, weeping. It lives for 80 years and then it's gone. And then it's there again. Wait, she's in a time loop where until I do something, she literally just lives, dies, lives, dies. She's in a cycle. Let me out. So that answers how long she's been chained there. Literally forever. Until you show up. A reprieve. A good life. Love. Children. A steady career. Recognition from your peers. Here one moment. Gone the next. The worms have found their orifices. Oh, and she's buried in everything too while she's be oh, oh god. Let me out. Diagnosis. It forgets everything it is. Anger, rage, distance, poverty. The lonely soul is lonely again. Love turns to mockery. It dies. It is reborn. Worse. It, is he describing her cycles of life? Let me out! No, 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 no. No, no. What's, what's happening to us? Let me out! This is all too much. I can't keep going. Hold on. It's all too much for the narrator. He can't keep going because he's seeing his cycles of life and death. You're going to dip out right now. You can't keep going. Well, what are you talking about? But he doesn't respond. Having to narrate another creature getting what he doesn't get. I don't think the narrator is. I think this is we got so mud. This might not be the original, whoever the narrator is. He might not like talking about cycles of life and death when he doesn't get them anymore. Oops, I think I broke you. Yeah, you broke him. He's remembering a lot of things. He's got a lot on his plate about right now dealing with you. I'll see you soon. You'll know what to do. No, I won't. Your body is dead, but you live on. Chapter three, chapter four, what? The moment of clarity. You're on a path in the- Shit, shit, what, what the hell was that? Who are we? What are we doing? Voice of paranoia is fine. This is what we po call post nut clarity. You don't know where you are. You don't know how you got there. You didn't care until this moment. It happens to all of us. Calm down. But you're probably screwed. There was a princess, I think. Broken? It's all so fuzzy. It hurts when I try to remember. I think we were trying to save the world. Yeah, you stayed with your nightmare to save the world. Don't worry about it. You shouldn't know about the princess. At least, not until I... You've already been here, haven't you? I guess. It, it feels so long ago, almost like we've never left. You didn't leave. We have to let her out. What, what broken? Hey, you're the you're the third to last uh, addition to this crew. You don't get to say we get to let her out. No, 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 no. You got a lot that came before you. No, that's the opposite of what you're here to do. 
you have to slay her. Why is slay capitalized? Slay. We decided not to do that, didn't we? Yeah, we tossed it aside and let the uh, trapdoor and the nightmare thing escape. Th th this, we chose this. Yeah, we're supposed to let her out. It's really the only way this works out for us. If you think about it, she's the one with power here. Nobody else can do much of anything. Opportunist is back? No, we were supposed to keep her trapped there forever, I think. All right, we're getting surrounded, boys. We're supposed to be unfeeling. How many times do I have to tell you to snuff out your heart? If the smitten has something to say about that shit, I swear to God we're gonna throw hands. We can't be unfeeling. Not when there's so much fear everywhere. True point. Thank you for chiming in, Hunted. There's nothing for us to do. We've already tried everything. That is also true. We love her, so we have to set her free. I fucking warned you. Can we love something that hates us? Can we love something that hurts us? Yeah, you can. To be given an ounce of kindness from something so cruel would be more pure than any other love. I could, like, punt a puppy right now and feel nothing every time I see the smitten on the screen. Why are there so many of us? There aren't supposed to be so many of us. Because it's been forever chapters now for being trapped in the nightmare. This is bad. You need to get a grip. What did you let happen? How many times have you been here? Oh, God. I think they're all wrong. It's a good question. How many times have you been all been here? What if we don't go to the cabin? Can you make sense of them? I feel so disjointed. I don't know if I can pull this off. See, the only way to do is to do nothing. So we do nothing. Okay. We save. I I don't. Okay. I think they're all wrong. Of course we're wrong. Shut up, broken. She is the only thing that's right. Oh my God! Shut up, smitten. Yes, obviously they're all wrong. What are you going to do about it? I, I'm a bitch about smitten. Getting back to his earlier question, how many times have we all been here? Many, 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 many times. It feels like we've been here forever. But it also feels like we've barely been here at all. That would be being inside a construct. Think of it like Matrix, where you could take the pill that you... Do, you, you can take pills in the Matrix. Aspirin, NyQuil, DayQuil. How low of a budget do you need to make for a, a film where they they you get two choices for a pill and it's literally NyQuil and DayQuil? Just really oversaturated. Those were the pills. I swear to God, if I find out one day they just, Morpheus just had a, a NyQuil and a DayQuil it will not surprise me in the least bit. Anyway. It doesn't matter. Yes, we just have to do what she says and then everything will be fine. Opportunist, you're an idiot. I can't believe I sided with you. It won't. It will be for us. She said so. She's... You're part of everything. If things aren't fine for everything, they won't be fine for you. Oh, God. There's no difference between fine and not fine. It just goes on and on. Contrarian, shut up. We don't need Devil's Advocate right now. That doesn't make sense. I only remember being here twice before this. Some of you don't seem to remember being here at all. Was was I here those other times? Did someone else make the decisions? What does here even mean if you really think about Contrarian. it? Contrarian! Play the Devil's Advocate later. Smitten, get the fuck out. I am talking to the actual good ones. I need to hear cheated. I need to hear stubborn. I need to hear skeptic. I broken, whatever, p paranoid, smitten. You get your ass out of this conversation, contrarian. You wait until someone else makes a good point that needs to be countered. All right, all right. Do you know your roles? Shut up. You were here. Thank you, stubborn. Send them correct. Every single time. Broken. 
Thanks for doubling down and letting us know. You did your best, really. There's just a pecking order. All right. We're getting more from opportunist. I'm, I like the input. Let's keep getting forward. And our Fuck you! Beautiful goddess sits atop it. Right where she's always been. You added nothing to the conversation! <laughs> You're lucky. What I would give to be able to forget. Oh boy, okay. I've tried to keep them numb. <laughs> but they're all too soft. A shame, really. Who's all too soft? If I don't remember what I what I did, then I couldn't have been me that did it. Don't think about that too hard. All it will do is weaken your resolve and make it that much harder for you to slay her. The word slay is meaning it's losing its meaning. Like over like slay. Like I can't even make those jokes anymore. And you didn't capitalize slay this time. Maybe it was a typo before. Maybe you're shattered. That's a good point, Broken. I need to get to your storyline because I think the narrator is broken in his own way. I think he's not, I think he's, he's duplicated. He's multiplied, but he's not the, they're all separate things that all know the same information. They're withholding it. I don't think the narrator is, he's broken, but he's one thing that's broken. We're one whole that was broken into many pieces. He's one thing that duplicated itself and is broken because none of them are the original. That's what I think so far. Why? Smitten, if you open your fucking mouth when I ask such deep questions. Are you your memories? Or are you the one perceiving the present moment? Ooh. <laughs> All right, skeptic. You went deep down that rabbit hole. Are you your memories? Or are you, or are you the one perceiving the present moment? That is actually something that comes up in psychology about the idea of um, memories being so unreliable and so disjointed that there are, in actuality, more than one you. There is the you that you make of yourself in memories that gets distorted to fit usually a narrative about how you should be. And then there's the you that perceives the present moment. The you that perceives the present moment usually has to communicate with the you of your memories to decide how to make a future occur. Which is a weird concept about how human beings usually think. But that is the truth. And when your memories get distorted, you become something that is false. You become a fake pseudo you. You put on a persona that has nothing to do with the actual you. And then you make present decisions based on a fake face. And it's a weird, weird, weird thing. And there are disorders that are cluster whatever the fuck you want to put out there that all go along with it. They, they have a comorbidity all over the place. It's a cool concept. Skeptic. You bring up some deep content. I swear to Christ, Smitten, I'm skipping over your dialogue. Ugh, here you go philosophizing. Thank you, Stubborn. It never goes anywhere. It doesn't go any. No, it doesn't, but he's not at least being. Don't be contrarian, though, to that. Yes, this is Fuck you! the first time you've asked us about consciousness. Who am I? What am I? What is I? Who even cares? Contrarian, what did I just say? I said to stay in your corner and Smitten. I said, shut the fuck up. Now, cold, broken, give me some input. They're good questions. No. Great questions, even. But they don't have any answers. Yeah, opportunity. You can't answer this. These are deep. Cheated? I need cheated. I need paranoid. I need hunted. I need you guys on the case. And they all just end in quivering torment. Okay, yeah, they do end in quivering torment. That is a good point. It doesn't matter what. There we go. Do, because we always find her. And if we don't find her, she always finds that us. That is true. That's what I figured the hunted would say, but you, good on you. And then she smashes us into smaller pieces. A little dire, a little dark. It's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll let that pass. If you all just stopped feeling, we could have been done with this ages ago. Dude, nihilism will not get us anywhere. We still have this whole shebangabang, and we need to tell the narrator to knock off his shenanigans. And I don't know what this ages ago is for you. You haven't been with me the whole time. I don't know what your path is, so. Your thoughts are far too scattered to rain back in. Your only option is to silence them. Don't you tell me how to think. Don't you tell me how to think. Yo, no, no, no. 
I didn't grow up with people telling me how to think to have you come up in here and think you know me somehow, all right? I'll tell me how to think, all right? If I want to get smitten up in here just to fuck with your steez, I have smitten up in here no matter the shit that comes out of his mouth. Narrator, you can't tell me to bring it back in. We're too far gone. You see cobblestones and floating trees? We out of space, baby. It's not happening. Anyway, who's up next? <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing it a little bit. It's fine. Um. <laughs> all right. So, um. I'm. <laughs> I feel so disjointed. I don't know if I can pull this off. I don't know if I can slay her. Okay. Can you make sense of them, maybe? There's nothing worth making sense of. They're clearly all traumatized. I'm dramatized! You're making me use my brain, and then you don't give me all the answers, and you're blue balling my brain. It makes me like a blue man. I should be part of the blue man group. Why don't I make millions at the MGM? Uh. And yet, you aren't. We break apart, and you stay the same. Skeptic, I call on you earlier. Clutch when I need you. We break apart and you say the same because this narrator is not the same as all the other narrators. He only has to get a grasp on the reality handed to him because he's a copy. You guys are real deals in my head, I think, somewhere. Whatever we are, that is the counterpart to the long quiet. All right. Yeah. What's your secret? Why can you break the rules when we can't? Exactly. Answer the cheated. Answer him. And no, wait, ans answer him. We've tried that. Fuck you. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't. I've tried to not, and it didn't work. Our hearts always. Oh my. Back to her. You. Shit stain. Oh my god. You should have died in your dad's cum sock. Why are you still here? The deck is stacked. Ugh. So many paths, and they're all circles. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what it feels like, but... Alright. I feel so disappointed. I don't know if I can pull this off. I don't know if I can slay her. I don't care how you feel. <sighs> you have to slay her. You have to pull yourself together. You have to snap out of I have snippy, snippy, snappy it out of that. I'm here. I'm present. I'm trying to put it together. Spill the beans, narrator. You're lucky you haven't been stuck here like the rest of them. There's no other way to keep going. You either need to forget, or you need to stop feeling much of anything. They can't do either. You've got an accent about you. The word is either. He's not wrong. He's the only smart one left, if you ask me. Are we really, are we really gonna put the last smart one left as the voice of the cold? Well, I mean, everything does kind of feel, I, I stayed in the nightmare. It, it, it fits, it fits the scum, the whatever, it, fit, it fits. He's worse than her. Wait, wait, are we talking about the narrator or the cold? No, the, the, the narrator's worse. The narrator's horrible. All right, I'm saving this. So nothing I will do. Wait, the only way is to do nothing. You do nothing. You can't just do nothing. You have to do something. Okay. That's... You one, huh? Do you think it'll work? Yeah, I mean, I can do nothing. No, nothing ever. Works. Broken. Not now. Boo! You're the worst one. No, he's not. Smitten is. He's not the one who got us into this mess. No, I am. But shut up. At least I keep you breathing around her. Well, technically, the narrator is. At least I can keep breathing around her. See, that's why the sad one's the worst. The jumpy one tries. Yeah, see? Yeah, the sad one's not the worst, though. What makes me really sad... Who cares? All of you just yap about nothing. Mostly smitten yaps about nothing. The rest actually bring up a point every now and then. And that kind of attitude is why you're in the top half. Okay, yeah. It, whatever. He's a top. Opportunist, you, you're a power bottom. You just wait for your chance to strike. All right. Great. And that's why Oh, well, I, I'm I'm both top and power bottom. You, I, I'm the sandwich of, like, the voices, I think. 
I think I'm the sandwich. All right. I want to see what nothing does for us. Right now, all of you aren't letting nothing happen. You should be skeptical about what nothing does for us, actually. Skeptic. Hopefully this stuff's all the rest of them someplace quiet. You need me. And you need to not have them. It's the wolf you feeds is the one that 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 reigns supreme. That whole that thing. He'll get you killed by himself. No. Oh, all of us have gotten all the rest of us killed at one point or another. That's hardly even a concern now. That's not being contrarian. That's actually just the truth. I mean, it's technically contrary to what he said, but like semantics, people. As the little voices bicker amongst themselves, you do your best to stay still in the woods. It is difficult, and the more time you spend waiting, the harder it will be to sharpen your focus when you need. We it. can kill a nightmare. I wonder what we look. <laughs> at Are we standing, sitting? I like to think we have an air of dignity. I threw up my dignity the second I saw that it was smitten on there. My point exactly. <sighs> I continue to do nothing. I, I you have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. I have done the nothing path. Okay, nothing would lead to the brick walls, apparently. I have to go to the cabin. I cannot. That was the long, quiet talking right there. I have already done nothing. You slowly make your way through the umbral forest, umbral. bumping against unseen trees as you grasp through the darkness for a way forward. I, I, like, I like that. Instead of saying the dark forest, the umbral forest. That's a, that's a better way of describing it. It puts an air of mystique and, and of impenetrability about that darkness. But eventually, you do make it to the cabin. Or rather, you make it to the place a cabin should have been. Instead, all you find is an empty hill. Narrator, you are so full of shit. You need to start, like, fessing up to what the hell that mirror is actually showing. No, no, this isn't right. There's a cabin there. There's always supposed to be a cabin there. No, you're making shit up, narrator. Don't ask him about the mirror. He always says he never sees it. Yeah. He always lies. Yes, he is. And he always makes it gone. Not true. You guys go away when I don't make it gone. It's exhausting. We must be such a mess, but we never get the chance to fix ourselves. That thing is mocking us. Wait. Wait. Smitten didn't talk with his penis. Holy shit. Screenshot it. Timestamp that shit. Oh. Stay focused. You still have a job to do, and it's best not to be distracted by fraying thoughts. There is no mirror. You know that as well as I do. No, I don't know that. Please, we, we gotta keep going. She's still here. Buried deep inside the earth. Yeah, I. She went through a lot of life cycles. She's got worms in her and everything. It's weird. She. She probably gonna need uh, a treatment for that. Just walk up the hill. You always give too much space to the others. It's why you always lose. It is. Maybe, but. And what's wrong with giving this space? What if it helps? What if they need to be heard? They've been heard too much. It's why they are the way they are. So I listen too much. Exactly. They are delusions, and all that catering to them will do is drag you down to their level. You have to keep moving. How can you say they're delusions when you hear them, narrator? Or you could just give up. You walk up the hill, hesitating just beyond the bounds of the cabin. The cabin that isn't there. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused on that situation. And she's buried underground from, like, living and dying and life cycles and... Circle of life! Whatever. You've got to clean the mirror, haven't you? You've got to see what's in it. Smitten? Might have a redemption arc. 
smash it to pieces. Is it my last resort? Suffocation! No breathing! She's on the other side, and we have to let her out. It's the only way we can be free. Oh, you want her to win? It's the only way we can have our thoughts back. D thoughts back for who? Wait, there is something actually very different this time. She's always on a hill being grasped by hands where the cabin should be. Now it's a mirror on the hill. Is the cabin and the hill two separate things? Like the cabin represents her, but the hill represents me? Because I'm now a little confused on that. She stands there, but she only started standing there once we first separated and I would, wasn't a part of her. And she started asking me to bring parts of her, her, her shell um, back to her. Like she, she, she needed, she was just a shell. She needed different iterations brought back to her, but the hill existed first. And now the mirror is here. It is, is the narrator actually making the cabin or is the cabin part of the construct of the, the princess? And I'm the mirror hill. Cause she's always with me. She says she is. Just go around it. No, shut up, contrarian. Just do something. It doesn't matter. You what. sound like every comment section where they just want me to do something instead of breaking it down and talking about it. Exactly. I'm sure that whatever you settle on, it'll be the best possible decision you could have made. You've never been on the internet. There is no such thing as the best pop possible decision I could have made. Because there's plenty of people going, well, actually. Proceed. Proceed? Proceed to where? I'm afraid you're going to have to be a little more specific. Mirror. Be, proceed to mirror. That's another new one. How do you keep coming up with new things? I hope this works better than nothing did. Okay. Of course it'll work. He always makes the best decisions. It's why he gets to make them. Wait. They're talking about me. That That's me. That's, that's me. They're talking about me. Oh, I feel honored. I'd like to thank the Academy. And it already has worked. It's gone, don't you see? Uh, what? We're one step closer to her. What? The interior of the cabin is much the same as the exterior of the cabin. A dull, fuzzy, dreamlike nothing. It's empty and isolating, but there's just enough vague shape and unknown texture to suggest the structure therein. Wrong and unsettling as it may be. What? Wait, wait. The 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 dagger and the mirror are. Ah, uh, but the dagger and the mirror have been to, next to each. But I always have to grab the dagger, and without the dagger, I look into the mirror. Wait, what? The only object of note is a pristine blade buried in the dirt floor, a hint of its shining edge teasing through the sediment. Okay. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. You've said that before and it's never worked. Take it. It's the only way forward. It's the only way forward. You've already tried everything else, don't you remember? Oh, take the blade. You have to take the blade. This is just Monica, only Monica. Once again. All right. You reach down to take the blade, but as you do, the ground beneath it shifts, the weapon sinking deep into the earth. You lean over the hole and gaze into the abyss. It is so very deep. Gaze into the abyss long enough, it'll, it'll look back. I'm betting she will too bowels of the earth, you see something staring back at you. It fills you with dread. Did not mean that literally, dude, uh, mm, fuck me. It's a... Uh, I don't have the knife. She's watching us. She never stops watching us. You really are a coward. One of me is, just one. 
With every word she speaks, the princess in the pit blinks closer. Joking when I said that way back when. You know that, right? Closer. Please reattach your limbs, thanks. I was having some fun, and I guess I wanted to see if I could melt you. Don't melt me. Watching over me forever? That was so brave. Not closer. But forever is so, so long, and time erodes everything. Except for me. Okay. I've already taken your will, and you're not getting it back. Is that why the hero is acting the way he is? And it's not this way to take my will. And let me out. Oh, she's still stuck down there. She can't get out without me. She's still stuck. It'll be so much fun. You and me, together, exploring the world and spreading fear wherever we go. Well, mostly just me. But you'll get to be there, too. A trinket that gets to stay with me all the time. Right by my side. I feel itemized. Did you take me to Antiques Roadshow and have me appraised at least? I don't want to be an antique. A witness. A witness? Uh oh. Can I get a witness? Amen. I can even make you a little cage if you want. Gilded and everything. You're getting into metaphors. The gilded cage? Okay. Now don't pause. Don't try to resist. I've already molded you into what I need. And you lost your power so long ago. Don't bother working yourself into a frenzy to get it back. What the hell? Do something. Do anything that isn't taking her hand. What are we supposed to do? She took our weapon. This really was a lost cause, wasn't it? You sealed our fate when you refused to kill her. Kill or be killed. Yes, I suppose you're right. Oh well. No! There's no paralysis anymore. Is it because we've already given her what she wants? Maybe it's because there's like a bajillion of you that want the same heart to beat. Oh! Oh! You're just an o They're all grayed out. I can't choose them. You're just an object. A tool. You once were something else. A long time ago. But that was something... But was that something you? Or is it just a dull and jaded memory? There is no other ending here. Just take her hand and set her free. I feel like that part should just end up randomly being... Like, you know, there's there is no other ending here. Just take her hand and set her free. There we go. You extend your hand to hers. For all her past cruelties, the moment feels gentle. Tender, even. I can't believe you just made me say that. I hate you. <laughs> I'm scared of you. The motion is difficult at first, as if something still resists your efforts. But then that resistance gives way, and it's over. And that's the end. I wonder what we're going to do next. Don't kill me. I didn't think I'd be so... tired. Oh, the world is ending. The princess exhausted slumps. Why is it so cold? You are definitely dying now that you left your hole. No, Walt, it's another- you, Oh, no! The long quiet! The edge of the long quiet's here! Oh, you're getting sucked in by the grabby arms. There they go! You, you do not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Yeah. I can finally think again. Almost. That mirror's back. What does that mean for us? I'm sure it'll be whisked away, just like her. Maybe it won't be gone. Things are different now, aren't they? Doesn't seem like there's much else to do here. 
Finally, we can smash it. Shut up, stubborn. Oh, you stop with the smashing. What do we say, boys? One last vain attempt to look at ourselves. Smitten, you're on mighty thin ice. Yeah. I think I'd like that. Seems we've got a majority. All that's left is to give it a look. You guys go away when I give it a look. You know that, right? And they disappear. You step towards the mirror once more. Its secrets remain hidden. Its mysteries remain unresolved. Something tells me that this is the end of the line. But I don't feel bad about it. I'm ready. It feels... Okay. The fears... Oh, I'm done fighting. My heart feels quiet. It's because I stabbed it with a fucking pin I'm holding, Smitten. Shut up. The game was always going to end. I'll be free of all of you. Wow. You were never my favorite either. I'm ready for the truth. Wow. I'm ready to sleep. I'm just ready to be anywhere that isn't here. <sighs> Boys, it's been an honor. You gaze into reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. Your unraveled um no I have in my notes that I am undone I'll put I'm a I am on un, I'm unraveled I mean that works too but I've had in my notes for sent for freaking four hours I've had in my notes. I am undone. Maybe longer than that. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. You are at the cabin. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I'm curious to see what it means for us to know it. Me too, actually. Do you think there are people out there? It doesn't matter if there are. People are too small for us. You and I are the only things that interest me. You're too small? As in the concept of a person, you're greater than that? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. You are flying in the face of... Ooh. You're you are simultaneously wrong and right, and it infuriates me out of nowhere. All right. Do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one is filled with sadness. A doll abandoned to the company of her darkest impulses. She desires only companionship, but the only thing she knows is how to hurt. She will make for a tender heart. Okay. Do not mourn her. She has finally found her way home. How many more pieces of you do you need? Do you know what's going to happen when you awaken? If I did, I would already be awake. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? 
No, their minds are empty, existent, but constantly shifting into something new. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? Lives is a strong word. He acts as if he can't be alive because death doesn't apply to him when he narrates it. And it's as if he's narrating a story that he's not a part of, but he absolutely knows every part of. Because there, we were against the nightmare and we needed to know what's going on with her and the bladed one. Both of those times, the narrator needed to fill in the gaps and we needed... So, uh, I... Maybe? I don't think... I'm not sure the narrator's alive. I think the narrator was alive, but the narrator we have now is... He acts like he's in stasis, like he's always being awoken from the exact same moment of time. He does. I don't know why, but I know this for a fact. I am on the cusp of my awakening. Perhaps you were on the cusp of yours. Wait, when I'm awakened, I get the answers? Oh God, I might have to keep going. I, I want to sleep and everything, but Jesus, I play, I play The Last of Us in the morning. My brain will have to work even more. And I've been going for uh, like 30 to 14 hours today. Moderation is key. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? One. Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. Really? Just one? If this is the last time, is there anything you'd like me to bring you? These gifts are a conversation. And each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. I'm gonna be, be I'm gonna be the best boyfriend uh, construct I can be, because I don't want you got a lot of murder ones that you call tender and whatnot, but they look like they can tenderize me. If this is the last stage before your completion, then I'm not going back. I'm just going to stay here. You've already tried waiting, but I understand if you need more time. I'll wait with you. I think I'm about to have my game shut down on me again. No, she just shuts down the game. And then when you load it back up, you're right back at her. There is no waiting forever. It's, it, it, it does make, it makes no difference. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I am very intrigued into know what we are. And the gr glass is going to crash and I die. I will be here, waiting for you. Stop the music and crash glass. Everything goes dark and you die. Alright. Oh, 